Hey, this is Mary from Kamash Fiber Arts, and I wanted to share with you this really special crossbreed that I get from my friend. In fact, I haven't gotten it in probably two years, which I was pretty sad because I thought she was getting rid of all of her sheep, and then I heard from her, and she didn't. And I'm so happy I got this um, breed. Check this out. So this is a cross between a Cormo and a Lester Longwall. What's so unique about it is it's still very soft, but look what the Lester Longwell did to the crimp of the Cormo. Look how much it opened it up. There is some suent in um, the locks here. There may be a little bit of staining, but let me show you what it looked like um, scoured up. So this is some scoured and it turns out really, really white and really beautiful. This is not a coated sheep, even though there's not a lot of vegetable matter in it, there is some, and you can see some in the tip. So let me pull out a staple. That is so, that is so pretty. There might be a little bit of discoloration on the um, fiber, but it's still very strong. It did not affect anything in the wool. So I just wanted to show you what happens when you cross a very fine grade fiber with a long wool and what happens to the crimp. So if I take this and I do an inch here, one, two, three, maybe four, crimps per inch. So what that means is you want to use a really big whorl and this is going to spin up super bulky. You don't have to spin it like that. You can spin it any way you want to because that's <laughs> you have the choice to do whatever you want with your fiber but because the crimp is so large you want to use a slow whorl and spin it a little bulky so it follows that natural wave of the crimp and you will get this just the most stunning um, yarn ever. You can card or comb this. I mean it's super soft and it feels very fine but it might be classified as more of a medium grade so I will card some and I will um, comb some and I'll put it in a part two section and you can see what it looks like. Thanks for watching.